bad tattoos. I have a couple of them. Listen, I have yeet potato tattooed on me. I, I kind of understand why I'm single now. So there's this television show called... What's it called? So apparently there's this television show called How Far Is Tattoo Far? And from what I've seen, it's just really messed up, really crazy tattoos that you probably would never want on your body. I saw Cody Ko do a couple episodes of this and I could not stop laughing. So I thought we'd check it out today and probably just cringe at how stupid some of these people are. I'm scared, dude. If somebody did this to me, ugh. How Far Is Tattoo Far is the show that puts relationships to the ultimate trust test in a very permanent way. Does anyone do good tattoos or are they all just f***ed up? Amani and her best friend Kayla are out for revenge. Their friendship isn't exactly easy. How would you describe your friendship? Oh, good question. Rocky. Uh -huh. Okay, so you're telling me that two girls can sit there and be like, our friendship is rocky. We fight, we make up, we kiss, we break up. Wow, that was bad. That was really f***ing bad. And then they decide, I know what's going to build this bond closer. Let's just pick tattoos for each other on a reality TV. They pick people who are absolutely psychotic. There is no way in the world that people that go on this television show are 100% sane. No one goes on this show to get like a, a nice rose or a nice puppy dog. They're going to get f***ed up. Sh they all are. They both seem to bother each other a lot. What Why are you still friends then? Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. Yeah, hi, Jean. All the eight years I've known Kayla, I've never known her to shave her push. And it's just disgusting. Wait, what? Is she talking about... <laughs> Did she just say, I just... The whole time I've known her, she's never shaved her... It's like, what the f kind of friendship is this? If somebody just want to do that, they don't have to, dude. What the hell? Oh, God. They're like, I don't want to be here. Well, it's time for the tattoos. Really We're just skipping all the back and forth of how toxic their friendship is and why they probably shouldn't even be friends or in a relationship. We're just going to go straight to the tattoos, okay? Straight to the juicy part. Let's find out what these two frenemies did to each other. Frenemies, nice. Are you nervous? Yes. Are you about to cry? Alright. She seems way too chill, dude. Ready? How hard is it to uh, get a tattoo removed? Just asking for a mate. Are why am I scared? your friend Kayla has put on your chest for the rest of your life? Yes. Is this legal? Oh, so is it a hairy Bruh. Why is she laughing? What is it? Look at the teeth, the nasty ear. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Okay, you're looking at that from afar. The teeth are gross. The teeth definitely made me like throw up a little bit, but the rest is pretty good. Like it kind of from, from afar, it just looks like a chick's like, like a little, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. I've seen it was worse. embarrassing in 10th grade. Don't you think it would be embarrassing now? I just wanted you to brush your teeth. You could have said that, though. Instead of you could have said brush your teeth. I mean, if you wanted me to brush my teeth, you could have just told me to brush my teeth rather than putting some dirty ass teeth on my tit, okay? She's saying she doesn't want to be friends anymore. I mean, I wouldn't either. Yeah, but what did she do to you? That's what I want to know. If it's a hairy... Uh, I swear to God, if, if it's like a bush down her legs, I think it's a bush down her legs. It's a bush down her legs. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. Imagine this tattoo between your legs. I bet. I bet. They hate it. Snooki's so savage. She's like, I fucking hate it. It looks terrible. You're going to want to die. What the? What is it? Is it bush? Is it bush? What the? I just can't stop looking at this. I can't. I'm genuinely shocked. Why does this television show exist? Is this legal? Like, I know that they give consent, but like, surely somebody after the show has been like, you, the tattoo artist, you did this to me? You knew she was putting plaits from my pubic hair? Like, <laughs> what the f*** is this television show? Why are those coming off? Oh, she's about to f*** her up. Oh. Jesus <laughs> Dude, they don't make shows like this anymore. I feel like this is just payback for what you did in high school. And it's honestly not- Why are you friends? Why? Why are you friends? Kayla's a bully and I should have known better than to trust her. I don't want anything to do with her. I am just in awe. Like, I'm crying tears of just like confusion, bro. I watched Cody Co's and I was impressed. They they did some pretty 
pretty cooked ones. But I'm watching this and I'm like, how is this allowed? How is this legal? Surely they've got to be bat crazy. There is no way in the world that these people are sane humans. There's no way. Oh my God. I literally have to do an episode like this with Marl. We're going to keep watching this, but I'm telling you, I'm coming back with Marl. I want to see his opinion on this kind of sh Okay, who next? The okay, these girls look happy. Sisters Wendy and Karen put each other on blast. Oh my God, they're, they're actually sisters. Both sisters, both mums. But have very different approaches when it comes to money. What do you do for work? I'm a stay-at-home mom right now. Maybe these tattoos will be well-intentioned. I want to put her on blast. Like, I want to teach her a lesson. I can assume it's going to have something to do with money. I don't know, like something to do with a pregnant belly. I am predicting the future and that's what I think is going to happen. Well, good luck indeed. It's tattoo time. Oh, I get so nervous, dude. It's not even my tattoo and I'm just like feeling it. Like, how could you do this to your sibling? This was for my son. You have a whole another arm. Here. No, you knew this was my oh, sleep. Now I can't even wear bathing suit. But it doesn't Why are you tattoo? wearing bathing suit? They haven't even seen the tattoos yet and they're already yelling at each other. What the frick? I just want to get over with. Hey, Jordan, time to reveal your masterpiece. How do you become a tattoo artist for this? Like, what led you there? That's what I want to know. I hope you still love me after. I don't Jordan, think she's going to, dude. Mural. You literally want to die. I might just kill you. Do they get paid for this? I have so many questions. If you have been on this television show, please reach out to me. I need to know what goes on behind the scenes, how you end up where you end up. Oh. You're idiot. How am I going to explain this to my kids? The tattoo is Karen herself giving, giving birth, birth to money. Two bags of money. Representing her being a surrogate. Did I predict that or not? I'm pretty sure I said pregnancy and money. I can assume it's going to have something to do with money. I don't know, like something to do with a pregnant belly. I mean, they made it pretty clear what it was going to be about. But listen, I'm going to take the credit. Dude, what the f*** is this television show? I can't. I literally can't. They know they're going into it with a pretty cooked tattoo. What do they expect? This is why I'm like, is it real? I don't even know if this is like real life. I will also say that surrogates are very important people. They're giving people babies. I feel like that's a, that's a pretty big deal. Even if they're in it for the money, who gives a f***? Some people can't have children out there. And there's lovely people who are carrying the babies for them. I feel like that's a pretty cool thing to do. You're Nobody's ridiculous. saying you're not giving them a few Nobody's saying. Don't even, you're don't even don't even But she hasn't seen the other Nobody's tattoo yet. You're not giving them a few I love how they always arc up and they know that they've also given a f***ed up tattoo. She's got so much potential up here. It's her health. Like, you make no sense. It's her health. It's her career. Shut the f*** up. Okay, then go be a prostitute. You're halfway there. Did she just compare surrogates to prostitution? I don't think they're in the same category. Each to their own. If you want to be a prostitute, you do you. If you want to be a surrogate, you do you. But they ain't the same thing, dude. Switch her up. Yeah, exactly. What did you give her? Like, are you really allowed to get mad? That's what I want to know. I'm just ready to see this bullshit. Oh, she's going to be pissed. Shut the f up. No way. Snooki's just like, you're going to hate it. You're going to be so mad, dude. Why would you ever do this to your little sister? I mean, this is not any better. This may be bleeding, but this <laughs> <laughs> What the f is this? Is that me? Why don't we get a clear explanation of this? It's like an obituary. Being a liar, cheap as Being a mooch. You stupid f idiot. You this isn't even a good f picture of me. Did she just say this isn't even a good picture of me? At least pick a hot juicy pick, maybe one when my booty looks fat. I don't know. Like pick something better. Okay. I'm like a five out of ten here. You could do better. I'm a couponer. I'm not a scammer. Okay. Understand the now difference. you're a couponer. Understand the difference. Boy, who are taking people's money. What are you talking about? A while back, her and her friends wanted to go to this concert. And so they printed out an obituary and they put it in the can. And they started asking for donations oh. just to go to that concert. Oh, 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 so apparently the story behind it is her and her mates wanted to go to a concert. So then they said that somebody died and asked for donations to go to the concert. Ah, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a big Yikes, holy. I bettered myself, and I'm gonna do the same by distancing myself from her. Good for you. That's it? Yeah. She knew what she was getting herself into. Maybe when I'm on my I need to bed, start putting this music happy. in my videos. Can we start adding dramatic music to my edits, please? Because this just makes it sound so much more crazy than what it is. It's like, guys, welcome back to the channel. Please subscribe. Do the music. Just do quick. Do. Okay.
I mean, you guys, for the kids' sake, can you put it behind you? Why'd you sign up for the show in the first place? Well, we both had misconceptions of what we thought of each other, so. What, did you think she was gonna add a big love heart on your arm? I don't think so, sweetie. Eventually, we will. <laughs> okay. What? Go, sister love. It's okay to be mad at each what other. What the Bro, I don't know, man. I don't know. Is MTV How Far Is Tattoo Far Real? 100% real. This was a roller coaster of emotions. I can't believe that this television show is real. I kind of dig it though. And I kind of want to keep watching. This is just jaw dropping television, quality content. Holy, the internet is a wild, wild place. I want to talk to some of these people. I want to understand why they're doing this kind of sh I'm definitely never ever getting another tattoo in my life, nor would I ever trust anyone to give me a tattoo, especially clearly somebody you have some built up anger, tension towards. It's a bit of an iffy situation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Mal's yelling next door. I gotta go, man. I gotta go. Goodbye.